again already. Just Nicole and then stare for a while and be like, I'm Nicole, I'm 34. I am, oddly enough, a wife and parent. Been with my wife for over 16 years. We have a two year old. A lot harder than I thought it was, but so is everything. Went to St. Joe's for college. I followed my wife there. She was pretty. My favorite color is green. I was a history major. That was unfortunate. Worked in insurance for 12 years. That was unfortunate. I do comedy sometimes for fun. A decent amount of the time. You said the knife is helpful for these. There we go. Who is your favorite fictional couple? I'm working through all the, all the lesbians I know. I might not even end up being one of them. You know what? It's Homer and Marge Simpson. 100%. I don't know why I didn't think of that at first. It mirrors my relationship in uh, some ways. Except I'm not a boy and I have hair. I get to be the adult and my wife has to take care of everything. There's usually like a passive individual in a relationship and there's the kind of type A. I am not the type A. My wife kind of manages everything and I follow simple directions. Yeah, nobody in my life I think has had a successful marriage. <laughs> my mom's on her third husband. None of my aunts and uncles really had good relationships. My brother's dating a married woman. I like to tell people that I um, learned everything that I needed to know about life, like how to do it successfully from like, step by step in family matters. Like, I don't know, all the things that we we're supposed to do as people, like be nice to each other. That's where I learned it. Mostly we just made it up as we went and we didn't have a good relationship for a long time. Lots of mistakes were made. Yeah, we just always really liked each other, so we, it was worth working on. I think that's the only thing that really made it successful. And we were friends first, which I think helps, because I actually liked her as a person. I'm, I was a late bloomer. Caring about relationships or thinking that they had some sort of great value. I think for a long time I didn't think relationships were going to be my thing because I didn't realize that women could date women. Like, that wasn't something that was chill. I think it must have been with my first girlfriend. That was probably the first time I ever considered marriage, uh, long-term relationship. Yeah, I don't really think I thought about it much before that. I think the thing that is the best is that how much we relate to each other and how well we know each other's humor. We're just in sync on that. Having the baby has made everything harder and more fun. I think the best times that we have together now are usually like up in his bedroom at night playing Legos and making him listen to Beyonce. I don't think it's a good idea to be in a relationship where you don't tell anybody. That gets weird real fast. Obviously there's some issues with that, not wanting to come out, that type of thing. I would recommend uh, at some point in your life, if you can, fly out there, if that's your jam. And don't date liars. When my mom still thought I was into dating boys, she told me that they would never want to see a girl's gut, so to take your boobs out of your collar. So yeah, take your boobs out of your collar. It wasn't really my bag to do that. Uh, my mom told me to always control the money. I don't. My mom told me that uh, watching porn was cheating. I don't think I subscribed to any of the ideas my mom did. My brother always told me to um, keep secrets. <laughs> no, I have not kept the same values uh, that I was brought up with at all. They weren't values. <laughs> I think in a lot of ways, dating has become less commitment focused. It's more acceptable that people understand the concept that one person making you happy exclusively seems like like an odd thing like they just hook up and then they just high five it's just like shaking hands that feels nerdy but it's true and that's what i think of all of the children and my wife would never uh be interested in in like exploring anything outside of like marriage two of us that's it um but i just see a lot of other people being less uh rigid about that Everybody's going to be banging each other, except I'm going to be sitting on my bed with my wife just reading. That's what's going to happen in the future. You can find me on Facebook, Nicole Benwell Comedy. I'm old, so I use Facebook the most. Instagram, that's a lot of pictures of my babies, so don't get weird. All right, I'm a little nervous. I'm fine so far. I'm a little freaked out. Is it a balloon? That was pretty good. Thank you for watching Serial Monogamous.